Hey, God bless you, my friend. This is Sister Sharon. And today I want to exhort us on the importance of time management. It could be the difference between life and death. Why? Because if you don't take time to feed your body, to rest the body, friends, it can wreak havoc over your life and put you in vulnerable situations. This comes um, with the knowledge of facts. Many people fall asleep at the wheel. There are people who disregard being drowsy and not alert. I have shared this uh, exhortation uh, before, how the Lord warned me many years ago that in the latter days of my life, if I did not exercise self-control, I would die prematurely. This is what the Holy Spirit taught me many years ago, the importance of time man management and getting proper rest. Friends, I know personally of men who were sincere in the harvest of Christ that died prematurely. Most recently, a pastor died in an uh, apartment fire. He was the only one that died. It was only his unit that caught fire. It is said that he was tired. Um, he went um, to stay at this apartment that he rented near his church because he, he was too tired to drive all the way home. And the fire department believes that he started to cook his food and he fell asleep. Friends, listen and hear me very close. I know of another young man very recently that I met. Um, when I met this young man, I met him uh, purchasing something for the ministry. And I could tell he was always just on the move, on the move. And I ask him, how much sleep does he get? And he's like, oh, I could, I could stay up for days, Sister Sharon. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. No one can stay up for days and be healthy. And I was trying to exhort him that you have to take care of yourself, young man. You can't just go, 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 go. You have to eat balanced meals and get sleep. No, but the Bible says, Sister Sharon, if you sleep in slumber, poverty will befall you. So he's quoting these scriptures to justify that he was not sleeping. He was just, whenever he would feel like he needed a quick nap, th this is how he was living. Friends, I get the news not long ago that he had a brain aneurysm. He was drinking coffee throughout the day, energy drinks, not eating well at all. Friends, he is totally incapacitated. Young man, if we do not, exercise discipline over the flesh we can die prematurely my friends i know of another young lady who ended up dying of cancer she was diagnosed she had breast cancer they treated it she went through rigorous chemo and it went in remission and after that, she went back to the same eating habits, drinking lots of Pepsi. I mean, it was her morning routine to drink Pepsi all day long, pastas, comfort food. And that cancer came back and she did not survive. What am I saying here, sisters and brothers? I wanna give you another example of a young pastor who was in his late 40s. The Lord gave me a word of knowledge about this pastor. And I remember this was many, many years ago. I will never forget it. I went to minister at that church. And after I finished, the spirit of the Lord quickened me and gave me knowledge 
that something was going on in his body and that he needed to immediately change his diet. He brushed off the word of the Lord. I didn't get deep, you know, I hear the Lord saying, I didn't go deep and talk all like, no, mm -mm -mm. I just told him, brother in Christ, I believe God is saying to tell you, you have to change your diet and begin to take care of your body. Less than a year or two, he died of kidney. Uh, he had cancer all through his kidneys. On the run, not taking time to eat nutritional meals. Friends, I've been given these exhortations and I'm gonna keep teaching on food. I'm gonna keep exhorting on all the beautiful benefits God has placed in the garden for us, in the produce department. Some say, well, people die anyway, so I'm just gonna do me. Friends, that's the type of disposition that can, that can bring premature death or unnecessary sufferings in your body. We all know we should eat balanced meals of fresh fruits and vegetables every day. And even if we do end up sick or something goes wrong, we know that we have put forth the effort to do our best, believing God to do the rest. Friends, this comes down to time management, managing time daily to portion your food, to prepare your food, to do whatever it takes so that time does not crush us, that time does not bring us to a place of desolation. And we look back and we could have easily taken 30 minutes out of 24 hours in one day. Time management, my friend, is vitally important for every facet of our lives. We have to know how to manage our time. I believe enough has been said. Jesus is worthy of our disciplines so that we can be good stewards, so that we can glorify him in everything that we purpose to do. We want to do it to glorify Jesus so that we can go the distance, my friends, if for no other reason, so that we can be faithful to our callings, to the things that he assigns us to do. If for no other reason, let us purpose to take care of our temples and demand our flesh to back up so that we can be wise with time. All for the glory of God. He or she that has an ear to hear. God bless you, my friend. Till next time.